Yeah. All right, it's time for another edition of Celebrity Pick 6, and look who we've run across. A's legend, the play-by-play voice, voice of the A's, Ken Korak. Ken, how are you? Jason, I'm doing well. It's good to be with you, man. It's so good to see you. Good to hear you. Um, how about football? I know we're not going to focus on any of the baseball. You get asked baseball questions all the time. Did you play football at all growing up? I did not. The only thing I actually – now, everybody can say this. I played a ton of intramural football. Okay, and we won a school championship at UCSB. This is like a hundred years ago, right? <laughs> they hadn't even paved the roads in Isla Vista then, but yeah. that's my only little tiny claim to fame when it comes to football. Flag not football, only, obviously, yeah. Not only a party school, but a flag football school. Oh yeah, yeah. In fact, <laughs> you know, they dropped football for years. They, they had a football team. So when they played the championship game, they actually literally played it at at the campus stadium, like under the lights. So there were like wow. 15,000 empty seats, but um, that's where we, we played the championship game. Yeah. So, yeah, I know it was intramurals, but how were you? Were you a pretty good player? I mean, now it, it's- Well, I was a quarterback. Short. Listen, that was a thousand years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was a quarterback on that team. On a championship team. How about uh, football itself? How many- I football think there games? was like a, I think there was like, there's a, a, few, a few teams in like the elite division. We weren't in that. We were like the division, like right below that. So still a championship. Yes. <laughs> um, did you call? Have you called any football games over your years? I've called a ton of football. Yeah. Yeah, I did um, uh, fourteen full seasons of college football. So, uh, you know, I started Sonoma State back in wow. the eighties when they were like Division Two, and then I did UNLV. I did San Jose State for seven years when they were really, really good like in the Mike Perez era mm -hmm. when Claude Gilbert was there and then Terry Shea went to bowl games, I think three or four times when I was doing their games. So they were good. And then I did UNLV's games um, until I got hired by the A's. So I got hired by the A's in 96. So my last year doing college football was in 95. I did a few bowl games and some stuff. So yeah, um, yeah I loved, I love doing it. I don't miss it a whole lot now because it's been so long, but um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. How about do you have did you have a football team growing up or a team that on Sundays you kind of are passionate about? Well, that's funny. You know, I was more of a uh, college football kid. Uh, I grew up in L.A., as you know, and uh, my dad went to SC. My mom went to UCLA. So every Saturday we went to the Coliseum it was like, you know, just part of the routine during the fall and the winter. So I went to every game that they played back when I was a kid. So the Rams were in LA, now they're back, but they were in LA then. But I was never a big fan of the Rams. I mean, I watched the games, but I guess, you know what, I, I was a really big, now I'm really dating myself, but I was a really big fan of the old AFL. Oh, wow. Um, like the Chargers played their first season in LA at the Coliseum. Nobody went to the games and they moved to, you know, San Diego, of course, but they had Sid Gilman coaching and they had guys like John Hadle, at quarterback and Lance Allworth and Paul Lowe and those great teams. So I really, I really like them. And then I think because I was such a Bill King fan that I listened to all the Raider games, like, especially if I, if I was watching a Raider game and then um, let me turn my phone off. And then um, if I, if a, like a Raider game was close in the last five minutes, I turned the TV off and listened to Bill because there was nothing like, you know, listening to Bill King at the end of a football game. It was just incredible. So I kind of live for those moments. But I, I, I have a, my first cousin's son uh, played about six years in the NFL. Um, Greg Camarillo, not Rich Camarillo, the punter, but Greg played at Stanford, mm -hmm. receiver. He was a really good player. So we kind of followed him wherever he was playing. We became a fan of that team. So, and I'd even try to find the game at a sports book or something, or, um, you know, sports bar, something like that. And just to be able to, you know, watch him play. So it was a lot of fun having uh, Greg in the NFL for about six or seven years. So what happened on those late Saturday, November, UCLA, USC? What, who were you rooting for then? Well, you know, I don't know that I was, see, SC was the dominant team back then. I mean, we're going back to the Mike Garrett and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, OJ Simpson days. And, the, you know, I started going to games there and probably in the early 60s. So I was always an SC football fan and a UCLA basketball fan. 
No, the other way. No, I was an SC basketball and I was a UCLA football. So I oh, picked wow. the underdog. Yeah, there you go. Right. Because Wooden go. was coaching at UCLA and they were, you know, winning national championships. So I figured I'd be an SC basketball fan. And SC was the dominant uh, football team. And so UCLA was the team I rooted for during football season. Well, we'll see if that plays as an underdog for our celebrity pick six. Ken, you ready to do this? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's All go. Right. I have no clue what I'm talking about. But... <laughs> you might do well, Ken. No one's even gone five and one. We're looking for that first celeb to get to six and zero. Oh, so the the challenge is out there. I will say you have some tough games this week. I really we, you we, picked we, a, you picked a good schedule. <laughs> yes, you did. So let's uh, let's jump right to it. Uh, the first game of the week: Celebrity Pick Six with Ken Corex, Cardinals and Seahawks games in Seattle. You know that's that, that's an interesting game because. It's the game that proves you can be a quarterback and be less than six feet tall, right? You have Kyler Murray, yeah. right? So, um, and I, you know, the, the Hail Murray, right, last week. Yeah. So, but Russell Wilson, I just think, I think Seattle has a better team and they're playing at home, so I'm going to go with them. Yeah, it could have been an A, Kyler Murray. Looks good out there, certainly with the Cardinals. How about yeah. the next game, Titans at the Ravens? Ravens did not play well last week. Right, Jay? They lost to uh, New England, right? So, yes, I mean, right. But I'm going to stay with them. I'm not going to be seduced by the fact they lost and think they're going to lose again. So I'm going to go with Baltimore. Johnny right. Unitas is not playing quarterback for Baltimore. <laughs> no. <laughs> not anymore. All right, let's go next to Packers at the Colts. Another good game. Yeah, that's like the veteran quarterback game, right? Like... Um, I don't know. I'm going to go with Green Bay. I mean, Rodgers is having a great year, right? He's got like 26 touchdowns and three interceptions. So, so you know, I'm going to go with uh, the Packers in that game. On the right. road. Next up for you, Ken. This one isn't the best game, but it's a close contested game. Lions at the Panthers. Not a great game. <laughs> I was sneaking one in on you. No disrespect to those teams. I think the Lions are a better team. So even though they're playing on the road, and I think the reason they might be like a three-point underdog is because they're on the road, so they wouldn't be if it was on a neutral field. So I'm going to pick the Lions as the better team to win that. All right, next up we've got the Chiefs at the Raiders. Chiefs only lost this year to the Raiders, a surprising win earlier this year. But what do you think, Chiefs against the Las Vegas Raiders? Well, you know, I don't know that the Raiders can beat them two times in a row. But that's a big thing there. Um, the Raiders... I really like their offense. Uh, Rugs, right? The kid they got from Alabama who can really fly. And then Aguilar from uh, SC. Cars had a good year. Uh, Jacobs. So they ran for like 200 yards last week against Denver. So I'm going to go totally against my... My instinct tells me the Raiders can't beat the Chiefs twice. But I'm going to go with the Raiders. Woo! All right. Maybe a little hometown bias. Yeah. Right? right? Yeah. Either way, the Las Vegas part or the Oakland part, either way. That's right, exactly. Monday night game is how we'll close it out. It's the Rams at the Buccaneers. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's really, that's that's another good ball game. Right? I don't know. We got to challenge you here, Ken. Yeah, I know. I'm going to flip a coin here. Tom Brady is almost as old as I am. But... (laughs) I got him by like a quarter century, but uh, I don't know. That's... I'll go with Brady. I'll go with uh, the home team there. Okay. Don't know why, but I will. The hey, punches work as well as anything sometimes. Yeah. Well, Ken, good luck. Thank you for doing this. This was fun, and uh, we look forward to hearing you again next year for, for hopefully another great A season. Fixed. If I go for six, <laughs> you're not going to bring me back to do this again. <laughs> oh, we definitely will always have you back. All right, buddy. Thanks. Appreciate it.